Virgo. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Here to do your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. This reading is for Virgos and Virgos only. Okay. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Um, all the links are down there for whatever you need to contact me or to get a reading with me. All right, let's take a look here, Virgo. You've had some pretty great readings the past couple days. So let's see what the love energy is, past, present, and future. Okay, Nine of Cups in the past, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. The present is the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the World. And the future is the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. <laughs> I can already tell you, just looking at the cards right here, right now, already the first thing that came to me is <clears throat> somebody here in the past definitely feeling like you are the end-all be-all to everything for them okay that abundance that wish come true um just complete contentment it's a nine um like they it it feels it feels like this person your person felt like there's nobody else for me okay this is it uh, this is where i've landed with virgo this is the per this is my person but this person was struggling there was a lot of um restrictions and there wasn't any movement okay could have been the world restrictions that was going on this person um didn't want to let you go okay if it wasn't in the restrictions it could have been both or that this person was just kind of like in victim mode and they hid a lot of their insecurities let's take a look and see what the love messages are okay true love this is the romance of a lifetime forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Honeymoon. Okay. And soulmate. All right. Virgo. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, yes, this is your soulmate. There's no doubt. Okay. And I feel like that did that. Was that recently? I'm not sure. But. And it's definitely true love. Like, you know, deep in your heart, Virgo, that this is your true love. This is your person, okay? We do have fire sign energy here. <clears throat> Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aries, for the only court card that's showing up here, okay? Um, that could also be your energy as well. Um, there's a lot of healing that needs to be done in order to move forward in this connection, okay? Because I feel like these are two very contradicting cards here in the past. This person really feeling like you were it and you were everything, but they were unable to make a move towards you, okay? That Eight of Swords energy is like they restricted themselves. They were in this mental imprisonment. The Four of Pentacles, this person was like, long term trying their intentions were to hold on to you right you it's like they wanted you but they just couldn't make it happen they withheld and they they just would hold back a lot of stuff yet at the same time that nine of pentacle energy is or sorry that nine of cups energy is like they knew you were it for them there was just something that made them very happy to be with you and a sense of like emotional contentment and peace with you yet they were very restricted let's take a look at this nine of cups energy here virgo okay the magician yeah this person was they may have manifested you you guys might have met a certain way and it was like kismet the way you met okay um you were definitely brought together for some type of purpose. The magician is Virgo Gemini energy. But I feel like their intentions were to um, 
kind of like bring this relationship you know the things that they hoped for wished for and wanted with you into reality they were very inspired by you and i do feel like they wanted this stuff but they had a lot of that holding back holding back holding back so it was like they'd stick their toe in and be there with you and then pull back out again and that might have been a cycle that you were in with this person Okay, we do have the King of Swords to clarify. So for some, it could be Aquar it could have been Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. However, that King of Swords, you know, he's intentional. He or she was very intentional. Tr their intentions, like the King of Swords is very honest. Their intentions were to be with you. They had a lot of this holding back energy. I do feel like you are their true love. Okay. They do feel like you are their soulmate. They may not use that word, but you are their other half. At least that's how they felt in the past. Let's take a look at this Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, this person with the star needed a lot of healing, a lot of internal healing. That Eight of Swords energy can sometimes be like mental um depression or anxiety like this is like on the verge of a nervous breakdown like uh, this person you probably did bring a lot of healing energy to them and i feel like a lot of the reason why they were holding on to you for so long is because you know they knew that you you had some type of a gift or there was something about you okay um let me see. You were, it, it just feels to me like you had this ability with this person to bring them hope. Okay. Like to, to them, you are a miracle. At least that's how they felt in the past. Like they can't even believe, they couldn't even believe that someone like you, you know, um, would just be interested. They had you, I don't know that they had you up on this massive pedestal, but they were just so incredibly in awe of you and this person felt very negative about themselves about themselves let's take a look at this four of pentacles and they also withheld they blocked their heart and they withheld might have been very focused on money career work but just not letting anybody in but yet not wanting to let not letting you in but not wanting to let you go okay seven wands very defensive this person had a very defensive energy not trying to like blocking their heart i feel like this your person in the past just didn't want you to know how they felt about themselves or they didn't want you to see that side they really wanted to manifest something here but they didn't want to see want you to see that they had these things that, about themselves that they were hiding and they they did not that just with you but with everyone it was almost like a false mask but I do feel like it is, and it was true love for them with you. It may still be. Let's take a look. I just want to get one more card for the seven of wands. Yeah, strength. With all their might and all their courage, they withheld big, big, deep insecurities and things like that in the past. Now, the current energy is the three of swords, the queen of wands in the world. And I really feel like this is you, Virgo. Um, We'll take a look at your person going into the future. But right now, I just kind of feel like your heart is broken. And you are, you're in boss mode here with the Queen of Wands. And with the world, like, it's 2021 here. You are like closing this book and going off in, to write a whole new chapter in your life. There might have been a third party affair. Now, third party could mean... A, another person but it could have been a place or a thing it, no matter what it was it could be anything it just interfered in this relationship and you felt like you weren't a priority maybe they just had other things or even if they didn't have other things or they didn't tell you that they had other things they treated you like there was other things going on for them okay um and you may have always felt like they were just blocking and withholding yet wanting to be with you and it's like leaving you kind of waiting like a stalemate let's see yeah i just saw that with the three of swords here because we have two swords here so this interference caused a stalemate in this relationship and i feel like for you virgo currently you're 
you're you're the one who's given the three of swords like you're walking away i just see you see this three of, aha there's your two of swords just what i said i was clarifying the three of swords it was a tool a, a tool it was a stalemate this a decision a compromise needed to be made in order to a, and a decision in order to move this thing forward and I feel like Virgo you're making this decision that you are for now just walking away you're not investing you're not putting anything into this anymore you you might have even blocked this person um, or you're just not making any decisions and you're keeping quiet you don't want to see you don't want to know Let's see this Queen of Wands. Okay. Oh, yeah, Virgo, because you know that you deserve this Knight of Cups. You know that you deserve someone to come in and um, bring you that love, not just the romance, but to love you, right? And to give you that attention and that security and that safety. You know, someone who actually comes forward and, <clears throat> or just somebody new who um is on the same page as you and is ready to take action as the knight okay so you're standing here i don't care look it's it's leo aries sagittarius but you're embracing the element of fire at this time all right virgo you are just being confident you're quite feeling like you know virgo that you probably already have another offer. You may be getting another offer from someone who's like really interested while this other person is just keeping you a stalemate. This can be the Pisces card. So it could be a Pisces coming in for you. Um, it, not your, not If your past person was a Pisces, it's not them. This is somebody new coming in. But this Knight of Cups is very charming and romantic. May even come in and ask you if you want to go somewhere or, um, you know, go have some drinks or just you want. I just feel like you want a little bit of it. Of, of, you want passion and you want romance. That's what I feel. This person could be coming in from, you know, out of town now for some of you this could be your person in the present coming in and offering this love right but you have to know that the knight of cups because if you decide to just break it off with them like say you're out or you're done or just go um this could be your person coming in but you have to understand based on the other cards in the stalemate this person would be coming in uh, from the past because you're leaving Okay, and that Knight of Cups will come in and he goes, he's constantly in movement, so he doesn't stick. So you just need to be forewarned, you know, that if you walk away and, you know, you just decide you're out and you're done, you're blocking and you're leaving, they may try, this person may try to come in and romance you and, you know, just try to like make sure you don't go and, you know, pour on a little honey or, you know, give you those good lovey-dovey feelings. But Virgo, no matter what, I see you're like, you're moving forward. If somebody wants, somebody else wants to come in and offer their love and date you, I feel like <laughs> you got your cat, some of you, and I feel like you're just going to be looking at this person like, yeah, what else you got? Oh, you just want to go to dinner? Oh, okay. And you'll do it. Like, you're just fine with it, you know? Um, but you're gonna, you're keeping it moving. Let's see the world. Yep, five of swords. So you're the one who's doing the, um, <clears throat> the shutout, the cutting off. You're keeping it. Wow, Virgo. Taking a lot of courage for you because I feel like, Virgo, you are so patient and loving and understanding and compassionate, but... <clears throat> I feel like at some point, you know, all Virgos get to a point like where they're just completely exhausted. And then when they're done, that's it. That is it. Because if your person from the past is just coming back in this Knight of Wands energy with this little cup thing, like, oh, I miss you or whatever. Um, I just feel like you're going to look at them like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, after all that. You know, that it just doesn't seem like it's going to fly for you. Like you need more than just this, 
you know, um, just some kind of proposal that's not going to hold any weight because it feels to me like they are, for some of you, your person is going to come back and, and try to like reopen this door again, reopen your heart again to them. But that five of swords, I don't know, that's tough. I kind of feel bad for your person because I feel like for some of you, this is an abusive relationship and you're leaving it. You're getting out of it. You're closing the book on it. To go from heartbreaking and stalemate and a breakup or, you know, some kind of energy where there's a feeling of loss, you know, um, or, the, you know, you want an apology, you want recovery, you know, you want this physical healing, you need like a real thing. And for them to not even acknowledge that, and then just come in with this, you know, there could be a sorry attached to it. But I had a boyfriend when I was 16. And he told me, <laughs> his mother used to say to him, sorry means you'll never do it again. Never tell someone you're sorry unless you're intending to change the behavior, right? And for some of you, I feel like you really tried to pour some healing energy into this connection with this person in the past. You really tried to be like, um, you know, a star in their life. But it feels like either this person was too blocked and they just couldn't do it. That this, this person just has some stuff they need to work on internally, you know, um, if they can't work on that stuff, even if you guide them to that water to drink, um, you know, it's up to them to take the drink, you know, so for you, it's just, I feel like has gotten to a point where it just feels abusive, like you'll be with them, you know, maybe you're with them in the past, and then, and then they disappear, they don't call you, or they don't respond to anything, and they just go, and they ghost you, and, and then they show back up again, and it's this, in and out, in and out energy. So I feel like with that five of swords, you are kind of taking on the narcissist <laughs> thing. Like you're you're the one who's like giving them the shutout now. But I, I don't feel like you are a narcissist. I just feel like you're having to like throw it back and say, I'm done here. I'm done. I'm moving on. The rest of this year, I'm, I'm going traveling because things are open up now. I'm, I'm going to go out on dates and I'm going to live my life. I'm going to go write that book. I'm going to go, you know, I'm cutting this off and I'm, I'm going out with my friends and I'm not staying in a stalemate situation. You're, you're breaking that off. Like the two of swords has to go to the three because it's next in line. It, the two never just stays a two. It has to go to the three. And then after the Three of Swords is the Four of Swords, where you go, like, cut off, you retreat, and you move on. And then the Five of Swords is here. The challenge, though, is going to be for you to be in the Four of Swords energy, where you can not just cut off, but stay gone. Okay, um, so let's see what's going on in the future of this person. There is a struggle here. And the forgiving and learning, I mean, I feel like what's going to help you move forward, if this, that's what you choose to do at this time, um, you're going to have to really forgive this person for not being capable of giving you what you want. You might have tried. Okay, but in order to move on and be happy, this is probably like the best thing for you to do if you can manage it to say, okay, this had nothing to do with me. This has nothing. This is their childhood traumas or whatever things that were going on. And I've done my very best to love this person and try to be there for them. But, you know, I can't fix these. They're psychiatrists that take years to try to help people's childhood traumas right? Or whatever things that might have happened to them or however they were raised or whatever it might be, you know, and I feel like you have to forgive and just say, I didn't cause this problem and I'm not taking it with me, okay? And learn from it so that you can experience more love in your life going forward. <clears throat> um, I, and I'm just going to say this again, Virgo, I do feel that this person, they felt like you were their true love. They just didn't know how to do it. Whatever might have happened to them, if they had a bad breakup in the past, um, they're just really, I just feel like you've got to leave them be for a while. You just got to move on with things. Okay. Um, so, all right, let's take a look as I was saying. Okay. We do have the honeymoon card here. So if there's any holidays or anything coming, I think the 4th of July here in the United States, uh, wherever else you are in the world, if the, you have any holidays coming up, there might be... Um, a getting together because I do feel like this person's going to message you but it's a page energy 
Um, they might try to buy you a ticket or they might, um, there might be communication about some kind of a ticket or something. It doesn't have to be a holiday coming up like now. It's just any time going forward. Um, the Knight of Wands is here, travel, um, and the Ace of Wands with like a new beginning, okay? Um, now, for some of you, this could be like um, a lot of fun times with somebody, okay? Somebody else very well could be that. Um, the Ace of Wands can be like a very physical card, the Ace and the Knight of Wands, okay? I feel like, you know, you might get some communication from someone, you know, with that Page of Pentacles where there's... You know, it's not love communication, but it's more kind of like um, you might be talking to somebody. This could be somebody you work with, um, or you might be talking to somebody about work or money. You know, um, this person comes across as being very patient, could be talking about ideas and concepts and stuff. But I kind of feel like you're going to be holding a torch for someone, and um, that person's going to come your way. Very physical, lusty energy here. But we'll pull some clarifying cards to see, you know, who is this person? You might just be, you know, going forward, having some fun times with somebody. Um, for some of you, it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius going forward. Could be traveling with a fire sign. Let's see. Show me this page of pentacles. What is this message? With these page of pentacles here. Okay, oh, oh. All right, Virgo. This is your person feeling the loss, grieving, remorse, regret. Okay, five of cups here. It's your past person, okay? This person feeling abandoned um, and, and feeling unloved because you walked away. Maybe they offer their cup and you're just like, no, because you, either you don't trust it or you just feel like the cycle's going to repeat. And they're coming, they're going to keep trying to, re to talk to you. And they might actually um, try to get together with you and, and, you know, either again or, well, it would be again because it's a past person, okay? Um, and they may try to communicate with you but not lovey-dovey stuff like real communication. Their thoughts and ideas and plans and things they would like to execute with you, okay? This person comes in very inspired, that Ace of Wands. There's a, a very strong physical attraction here. Um, and I feel like they're going to um, try to come to where you are or travel somewhere with you. Let's take a look at the Ace of Wands. Okay, the High Priestess. Wow. Huh. It's going to be a surprise. This person is a very, like, they're kind of like low key. That's how I want to say. They're a bit low key. Now, that can be Pisces, Cancer, Virgo energy for some, but this person's very low key. They don't really say too much, but. I don't know, with that Ace of Wands, it's like a new, ins they've been thinking, trusting their intuition and a new inspirational idea or uh, a plan, you know, a new beginning initiation. This person gets like some kind of courage and takes lead. Let's clarify the, yep, the world to clarify the High Priestess. And here they come, traveling the world. They've been thinking about it and they're going to probably reach out to you and say, what do you think of this idea? What do you think if I come there? What do you think if I come visit? They're going to try to up the ante. Are you still going to take it? You might not. Okay. But you might because the honeymoon card is here. Enjoy the holiday bliss. I'm going to get more clarifiers because that, like I said, the knights are in and out. The knights are in and out. Um, oh, yeah. Nine of Cups. We're starting. We're ending the reading the way we started with this person. You are still a wish fulfillment for this person. They're going to keep trying. Virgo, what? What? What are you going to do? I almost feel like some of you are like, I know. I keep I keep trying to move on. And then, this, and then they come back. And then they kind of are like, oh, but I can't lose you. And I miss you. And you're everything I've ever wanted. And then... You know, I just want to pull another clarifier. 
I feel like we're continuing the story. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. They're just like surrendering, you know, giving up here. But it could also very well um, have them tell you that and come in and then end it on their own. It could be an upper hand thing. Virgo, you just got to be very careful. You just got to pay attention to it. Like long, look, they say pay attention to words and actions must match. But no, I mean, yeah, but that's not the whole equation. It has to be the pattern. You have to pay attention to the pattern of their words and their actions. That's how you know history repeats itself. You can't just jump back in because their words and their actions are meeting up at the exact same time. You have to say to yourself, okay, their words and actions are meeting up, but can they maintain that? Can they maintain that? Because it, look, it's very easy for us to get up at five o'clock in the morning once a week, but can we maintain that? That's the consistency is what you need to see, right? In the moon, yeah, a lot of secrets with this person. I don't know, Virgo. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but it kind of looks like, you know, this person truly does love you, but, you know, they have a lot of fears. Have The question might be, okay, yeah, I see you have those fears, and I know you want to be with me, and I get it, but you keep coming in. You know, you're breaking my heart, and then you're coming back in. You're breaking my heart, and you're coming back in. And these could be reversed. You could be doing the same thing in reverse to this person, but the cycle keeps happening, and it's like it's either you have to find a way to change the dynamic of this relationship if you're going to stay with this person, or you have to move on. And I feel like a lot of you are presently, you know, when this energy comes in, because you feel like, oh, it's a stalemate again. I feel like a lot of you might be just deciding I'm out, like, um, like a foxhole kind of, you know, like reactive kind of an, I'm out. You might need a little time to think about this, right? Because I, I do feel like this is your true love as well. I do feel this person, you do, you both feel like you were meant to be together, okay? But the this forgiving and learning definitely needs to happen. Um, I feel like you both want to spend time together when you're both free to spend time together, you know? Um, I mean, it could just very well, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't really, I don't see many Virgos ever settling for like a casual relationships and many Virgo women you know if they are they're probably like feeling hopeless that they might even deserve more than that or they're just so busy in their lives that they don't have time for anything else and if that's your situation well I guess you don't have to worry about it love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive Virgo I feel like that's really what's going on here right? And it's tough because you, you love this person as well, but you know you have to have your boundaries and you know you have to like maintain your dignity in like somebody who's coming in and out of your life. Okay, here's the deception card. I knew that was going to come. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And I said that already, hiding behind, you know, uh, this person needs some type of healing. They need a mentor or a life coach or someone who's going to give them good advice, good direction, okay? Because it's not necessarily cheating with somebody else, but it's like pretending to be who we're not, not living, not showing our authentic selves, you know? I feel like this person maybe has issues with perfectionism, um, or has been in situations where they just don't feel worthy enough of love or maybe again in their life. Um, but I feel like Virgo, if your person said to you, Hey, this is really how I feel. I had something that was really hard for me in the past and it really broke me. Virgo, your person just doesn't understand the kind of healing energy that you have. Like you're so compassionate and loving and warm and willing to give. Um, and if they would just, if they could just see and understand, I feel like you would definitely, like you wouldn't do the work for them, but you would help guide them to get the healing because you value the relationship so much and you value yourself. 
but I feel like you're coming to a point here where it's like, yeah, but I mean, I can lead them to water, but if they're not going to drink it, what am I supposed to do, right? Like, if you've been giving all your love and everything, and they're just not responding to that, um, then it may be time for you to just move on and just love yourself instead first. Right, Virgo? Yep, look, Five of Pentacles, because I feel like you feel like you're left out in the cold a lot of the time. Um, just simple things, you know, even if this person, it's a lot of work to be with them. That's all I'm saying. Some of you can do it, some of you can't. But, you know, I feel like it's a lonely place with them because this person doesn't feel like they can be what you need them to be. And yet they don't want to lose you at the same time. That's really not fair. They should let you go. But they're not they're not going to be strong enough to do it. You may have to be the one to do it, Virgo. Um, but just know you are you're probably their first true, true love. Or you are their true love. Like you've touched a place in their heart that I don't know that this person has ever experienced before. Okay. They may have thought that they did. But I don't know that they truly ever did. Um, and that probably got very scary for them. You know, because true love, true love is vulnerability. True love, that's the lovers. It's tr that's total, you know, no shame. Opening up, not hiding anything. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was a little bit longer than usual. But um, yeah, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care.